In this chapter, we will discuss the removable orthodontic appliances. We said that they um, are limited f uh, to tipping and simple rotary mov movement of the teeth. They are usually not used alone, but they are a first step before using the mechanotherapy fixed orthodontic. It can be used passive as a passive appliance to maintain the teeth in their corrected position as a retainer. So they can be used for overbite re reduction and uh, tipping the teeth efficiently in anterior cross bite or closing, closing diastema or helping in uh, some tooth alignment if there is any uh, buccal or uh, medial distal uh, disalignment. Uh, they have a couple of uh, retentive components that are called the clasps and active components that are the bows, springs and the canine retractors. The base plate is usually acrylic. First retentive uh, component is the C clap and it uh, it covers a three quarter of the uh, tooth uh, diamet diameter under the buccal cervical uh, undercut. We use a st stainless steel wire of 0.7 millimeter. It has a an proximal side that uh, is brought occlusally over the embrasure to end lingually as retentive arm that is later embedded in uh, acrylic base material. This uh, squash loop is important to pre prevent uh, soft uh, tissue trauma and injury while cleaning the appliance. It is easy to fabricate and it is usually a, a supporting clasp uh, because it does not provide adequate retention in active appliances and cannot be used in partially erupted tooth or deciduous molars and can be easily distorted during the insertion and removal of the appliance by the patient. On the other hand, the Adams clasp uh, is more vo versatile and gives more retention and accepts so many modifications to suit various clinical situations. It is named after uh, who introduced it, uh, Sir Phillips Adams. It has many names like the Universal Clasp, uh, Liverpool and Modified Arrowhead. It has two arrowheads that are engaged in the mesial and distal side of the tooth and they are connected by a bridge that is at uh, the level of middle third of the crown with a 45 degree ang uh, angulation. Adam's clasp uh, can be used on both deciduous and permanent teeth and be constructed on any tooth in the arch, the incisors, canines, premolars and molars, on partially or fully erupted tooth and can be re repaired by soldering. Uh, soldering. Here are the modifications of the clasp it may have a soldered hook for elastic attachment. Here it is fabricated when the tooth is partially erupted. We can see that the arrowhead is at uh, one proximal uh, side. Here we have a bow that is uh, attached to the adjacent tooth to increase the retention. Here we, here we have a, a distal extension to uh, increase the stability and uh, to add the elastics can be used labelly in the on incisors for uh, retention. The triangular clasp uh, provides additional re 
uh, retention so it is considered an accessory class it is small signed and it is usually uh, fabricated between two adjacent teeth mainly uh, posterior ones and it, it is usually not used alone but it is uh, easy to uh, to maintain oral hygiene with uh, this clasp now let's talk about bows bows are active components in the removable orthodontic appliances and they are usually used for over jet reduction and space closure in the anterior segment they have many types the, the short labial long the split modified reverse and others this is the short active label uh, labial bow uh, it is connected uh, through the anteriors and the u loop is on the canine uh, it is um, it has an retention uh, arm that is in the space between the uh, canine and the premolar it is activated by compressing the u loop by 1 to 2 mm um, this uh, bow can be used for minor overjet reduction and uh, anterior space closure and uh, for retention and the termination of active orthodontic therapy. Uh, the long active bow is extended, extended to, uh, the, uh, to, the, to the canine and the U loop is placed on the first premolar and it is activated in the same uh, manner. It is usually used to close the space distal to the canine and to guide uh, the canine during its retraction. Here we have the split labial bow uh, where we split the bow into two equal parts. Uh, it is not commonly used because it uh, is not uh, firm enough to maintain its shape and uh, it does not give the appropriate uh, retention that it's needed. It is uh, composed of uh, 0.7 millimeter stainless steel wire and uh, this split can cause uh, uh, tissue damage but the modified split uh, labial bow is where uh, the two uh, splits are intercrossed where the right uh, where the right bow in, uh, is attached to the left inside incisor and the uh, left bow is attached to the right incisor and uh, this bow when is activated by closing the uh, the loops uh, they tend to uh, close the diastema between the incisors but uh, distal uh, space will be uh, presented here after the movement this is the reverse labial bow uh, where uh, the activation of the bow is not by pressing, pressing it but by opening it and the 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 loop is pla placed distal to the canine and uh, is bent at right angle to extend anteriorly at the labial parts of the bow these are other shapes of the uh, bows now let's uh, talk about springs springs are active components in removable orthodontic appliances and they bring about movement of the tooth they have many types that we will uh, know about the first one is the finger spring uh, it e is used for the medial um, movement of the tooth and uh, the buckle the buckle palatal relationship of the tooth must be uh, good if you want to use this uh, spring so it only uh, affect, its only effect is in the 
mesial distal alignment this uh, this spring is visually activating by opening this helix uh, by uh, three millimeters if it was uh, made by uh, point, uh, five millimeter wire and it is open for 1.5 millimeter if it was made by 0.6 millimeter wire this spring is used for labial movement of palatally block locked incisors and it uh, can do minor rotations uh, it uh, has two helixes and if they were both activated by opening them for three millimeter we will get the uh, labial uh, movement if we want rotation rotation movement uh, we will activate the upper helix only it is fab fabricated using uh, 0.5 mm wire can be used for correction of the anterior cross bite now let's uh, introduce the T spring this uh, spring is used to do buckle movements of premolars and sometimes that of the canine this is the T shape active component that is attached to the tooth to be moved this spring is activated by pulling the free end of the T toward the intended direction of the tooth the mattress uh, spring is indicated for uh, buckle movement you, uh, for the correction of anterior cross bites it is fabricated using uh, 0.6 mm stainless steel wire uh, it is engaged to the tooth to be moved uh, now let's see what are the canine retractors uh, they are uh, springs that are, are used to move the canines in a distal direction uh, they can be efficiently used only when the canine is measly angulated otherwise they will, will worsen the situation and they uh, usually um, fixed orthodontic appliances will give us greater control over the teeth movement tip of the other tractors this is the u loop this is the helical retractor and this is the buckle self supported retractor that's